Hello everyone, I'm Chin and you can call me Ken. Welcome to this tutorial for how to catch a monster. And I believe a lot of you have ever played a game called Pokemon. And inside Pokemon, it could catch monster. And to use this first, I just want you to see my actors. Well, the first four are default character. Then I create a chicken, I create a bat, a slime, an org, a minotaur. So there's only nine character inside here. And now I want you to see is my system. So go to the system. I got only one actor that is a chicken. So let's go back to the chicken. And as you can see, the face of the chicken is a chicken. The character of the chicken is a chicken. Now let's just go into the game and have a look. Okay, first, to make it like a Pokemon, so I changed the leader shown on the screen. Well, as you can see, this player is not in my party, because I just show you the database. And this is the default character. And if you just go to see the formation, you can see it was a chicken inside the formation, and it's the only one. And now, I want to fight this bat. So I just talk to it, and then the bat has come, and I just want to use a bow to catch and that. If I go to the formation, and you could see it's a bat, and you may say, "Well, that's nothing. I could do that." But if I catch this bat again, and I try to catch this bat. So I catch this bat. Now go to formation and you can see there's two bats. Well in default you can't do this because each actor could only show once inside your party. Well what I mean is you can just only have one actor with the same actor ID. But now I got two bats. You just saw my database. I got only one bat inside the database of the actor. Well, so let's just go to the next. If I fight the slime. Okay, slime. Catch one. And I go to the formation and you can see. Wow, I got a slime. So it's not just only a bat. And if you go to the formations, well actually I use Yamfly's party manager. So the formation scene would become like this. Well, that's not important. So let's just see. So now I got four actors inside here. And of course you could got one more slime. So just find the slime. Find the slime. I will not attack. It's using the bow. So, the slime. And take a look at the formations. Now, I got two slime. Well, it's just right over here. So, I got two slime. And if I just keep going and fighting different monsters, then I could catch different monsters. And the Minotaur. Just fight this and use the item. Then check this out. Okay, so now I got one chicken, one bat, one bat, one slime, one slime, and one orc. But where's the Minotaur? Well, I guess you play Pokemon, so you know inside the Pokemon you could only have six members inside your party, and they are. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can't have another actors anymore. But where is that Minotaur? Well, in Pokemon, if you got more than six, then the new monster you just caught would be sent to a computer. And inside here, I just use this fairy as a computer. So now you see the Minotaur is over there. 
and for the left side this are the actor you got now if you want to change it then just choose it and choose the minotaur and now minotaur is inside your party inside your party and if you just keep fighting okay finding this or catch it catch it and fight the fight fight and both come on oh so i hit too fast sorry okay after this fight i'll just show you how to use this so let's just go to this computer and now you can see inside your computer is the monster you just caught and they will send here because your member is more than six and as for how to do this let's just take a look first just go to see the plugin I use for today well for this first two the party manager and the party switch scenes well, I use them for this computer. Well, so the switch scene you just saw, it was by this party switch scenes made by Hime. And to use this, you need the party manager. So just place it under the party manager. Then it was the main character for today. For today, it was the instance actor. Well, with this, you could create a brand new actor. So let's just have a look. And there are two parameters inside. The first one, it was the default template. You want to create a brand new actor. And the second one is the ID. You want for the brand new actor. And you'll start from 11. So if I catch a monster, um, for example, if I ca I've caught a bat, then that bat would be Acker ID 10. And if later I caught another bat, I call it bat 1, then the bat 1 would become the ID 11. And then the next would be 12, the next would be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and blah 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 and so on. So that's for this start ID. Then I use this custom party leader to change the party leader. So you just saw the sprite shown on the screen. Well, it was chicken, but inside the game, it was the default character, not the chicken. So that's how this work. And for this erase face trigger, I'll tell you later what is this. Then it was the yummy skip title. I just used this to skip the title. Then it was the yet party system. Well, I used this because I want to simply change the battle member. So just change the battle member over here so you don't need to touch the script. So just change this to 1, the default is 4. So now you've got only one battle that take part in the fight. And that's just what I want. So now let's just have a look at the events over here. First let's just look at this auto run event. So first I just want my chicken not dying in the game. So I've added the HP to 9999. And that's not important. Then I just add a bow. This is the new item I just create. And I add 99 bows. Then for this plugin command, well this plugin command is used to change the party leader. And I change this party leader to actor 2. And actor 2 actually was not inside my party. But with this, it'll be shown on the screen. Later, I set a variable, and I just named this variable outside. And this variable is to check how much members 
it's in the party now. And later, I just use a switch. I use switch here, not a self switch. The reason is because I want to check this variable too every time when I change the member or when I catch the monster or I talk to a computer and change the format so I use a switch here so I could control elsewhere easily so inside page 2 just use the switch not a self switch and now let's go to this computer so inside here first I just use this plugin command this plugin command it's inside the Yanfly's plugin the party manager so first I just change the party max to 6 the reason is quite simple because if you your default is 4 so if you just use 4 and go into the party switch scenes then you could only see four actors but I want to see the whole six actors I got inside my party even if they are not take part in the battle so now I change it to one so if I didn't change the max party to six then I could only see one one actor inside the party switch scene so first let's just change it to six then just open the party switch scene but to use this you could just find it inside him as plugin it was the party switch scenes then just change your party mac back to one because i just want only one battler inside the fight then i will close this count because if I got some adjust inside this poly switch I may move some actors into this switch things so my party member would be changed so just close this and when you're outside this event then you'll just run this again and check how much member you got now and as for this four they are just for the battle processing so different sprite would run the different troop so this is for minotaur this is for orc for slime and for bat and this is my character now let's just go to see my database so to catch a monster you need an item so I just create a bow over here and inside this bow just focus on here you'll need a common event to control so I name this common event bow let's just go to see the common event ball this is the common event ID 1 and I name it ball inside here there are four branch and this branch are to detect which monster I encounter and actually this branch I just use a switch so how to use this switch let's just first take a look at the troop so first when I encounter this enemy in a turn one that is the beginning then I'll open a switch I'll turn this switch back to on and when I turn it on then I'll know when this is on then now the enemy is a bat so let's go back to the troop and because after this battle if I catch this monster then the party member would change so I'll need to close 
let's switch counts so when I'm outside the battle when the battle is end I could run this auto run event again and check how much party member I got now and when it's the end of this battle I want to close this bat so just close it but you may say if I just simply defeat the enemy then there will be a problem because this condition wouldn't run because when you just defeat the enemy you just right go to the direct scene that is a victory scenes so you won't run this condition enemies HP is equal or less than zero then if you want to execute this event you'll need a plugin that is him as end phase trigger with this plugin when you're at the end of the battle you defeat the enemy you'll check if there's any pages any conditions any events that could be wrong so with that when you defeat the enemy you detect oh so now the enemy HT HP is less than zero or equal to zero so this event could be wrong so just close this switch and for slime they're doing the same thing just turn on slime close the slime for orc turn on turn it off for minotaur turn it on turn it off so now you could see which enemy you encounter now so let's just take a look inside the branch inside a branch there's another branch and for this outside variable this outside variable I just use it to check how much members I got now and if it's greater or equal to 6 then your enemy you just caught would be sent into the computer so let's just take a look at this script first you create a new variable so just var a new variable and the variable is just equal to this and you could find this script inside Hemas plugin it's just inside the instance actor so with this script you'll create a brand new actor and what is this actor the template is the actor ID 6 if it didn't have any numbers inside here then it would be the default one that is the actor ID 1 but now I want a bat so just change this to the ID of the bat that is 6 and after you create an actor you couldn't use it because you didn't add it into your party so what you need is to add this brand new actor into the party and where is this party well this party is just right over here it was a reserved party and you could find this inside him as plugin the party switch scene you could just find this script inside so just put it right over here then you'll just add this brand new actor into your reserved party that is the computer I just use and if your actor is less than 6 then you just run this script the first one just creates a brand new actor then just add this actor into your game party because now your actor is less than 6 so just add it into your game party and that's all and because oh there's one more thing because I want to end 
this game so I just simply put minus HP inside here so with minus 999 HP well, let's just take a look at the enemy because the HP of this monster at O less than 999 so when I successfully caught this enemy then I'll just kill this enemy because I just make it minus 999 so I could just directly end the battle so that's for the bat and for the slime that's just the same just change the IDs over here change 6 to 7 and change this to slime not a bat for an orc just change the switch to be orc and change the actor ID the template actor to be 8 and for minotaur just change the switch to minotaur and change the ID here to 9 so with this now you could start to catch a monster I mean catch a lot of monsters so just catch it, catch it, catch it Okay, I got a slime, and that's all for this tutorial. If you like it, please thumbs up or subscribe. Thank you very much.